हेलो लॉन्ग बैक आई रेड अ जोक अबाउट शेलो कॉम्स एंड डॉक्टर वॉटसन स्पेंडिंग अ टाइम इन डेजर्ट एंड मेडल ऑफ अ नाइट शेलो कॉम्स वेक्स अप एंड ही आस्क डॉक्टर वॉटसन वॉट इज ही इज अबो थिंकिंग दैट द क्वेश्चन कम्स फ्रॉम शेलो कॉम्स डॉक्टर वॉटसन इलाबरेट्स ऑन जियोग्राफी एस्ट्रोनॉमी वेदर टाइम जोन Sherlockum smiles and answers it's elementary dr watson someone has stolen our tent most of the time when people prepare their statement of purpose for the graduate study or for the research study they elaborate on all unnecessary aspect while they forget the most critical part today in this episode i will take you through some of the guidelines regarding preparing a meaningful statement of purpose or the statement of intent tip 1 do the preliminary study of the program in which you want to enroll yourself the institution the skills that are required and your matching ability each program and each institution would require unique attributes so think about them do the study and spell them on paper tip 2 introduce yourself briefly remember no one is interested in your autobiography so try to be as precise and focus as possible and only pay attention to the skills and attributes that are required for the program and that you can quantitatively prove any point of time remember never start your statement of purpose with a quote because most of these quotes have become clichés tip 3 back your claims with your previous success if your sop is about the graduate or the research program talk about your research papers your publications your dissertation thesis and how they are in line with the attributes required by the program if your sop is for the professional assignment talk about the internships that you have undertaken the role played by you in that organization your job experience and the duration never elaborate on irrelevant aspects remember if there is a gap after you have graduated justify your gap with the research and academic experience or the professional experience tip 4 remember your sop is your representative so take good care about the language that you are using in the sop the language should be simple but professional never copy the contents from the online sources always remember with each program or each institution the attributes and the skills required would be unique and therefore no two sops even by the same person should be similar when you have drafted your statement of purpose please get the feedback from the experts life is a continuous learning experience and therefore statement of purpose provides us direction to do audit of our own skills and attributes very good luck to all of you